Dan, before we get on to tomorrow's game in the EFL Trophy, what are your final thoughts on Saturday's great three points against Stevenage? Uh, exactly what you said there. A fantastic three points that will be important uh, come the end of the season. Um, probably would reiterate what the manager said after the game in the fact that it's you know it, it's brilliant that you can get those three points while still feeling like there was a lot of areas um, individually and collectively that we could improve. I think, like against Bolton, we said that match showed the importance of getting that second goal. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Um, I think we, we scored, it's a, a cliche, but we scored at a great time in terms of that second goal. Um, and I, I think, ultimately, we did deserve that um, with the, the control that we had in the game. Um, I think if we were to play that game again, the, the bits that we would be asking for is to probably turn that control into a more dominant scoreline. Um, but like I say, fantastic three points um, and, and plenty for us to still improve on. How are the boys looking after that game? Because I think Gary reflected on it as well, saying it's a very physical match. The referee was blowing up for a foul really regularly. <laughs> Yeah, I've just seen a few of them walking up the stairs there for breakfast and uh, they were a bit slower than normal. But look, I think whenever you've won a game, you always have a little bit more of a, a spring in your step. Um, so I think the, the players are in, in good spirits um, and we're coming up to a, a really busy period of the season that we're all looking forward to. Good teams don't choose when they win and you'd be looking to continue that, keep the momentum going against Tottenham tomorrow. Yeah, definitely. I think... You know, on the surface of it, the, the three points are incredibly important. Um, but actually, there are other things that we want to want to get out of the game, and that is um, a consistency in our performance levels, um, a consistency in the behaviours that we see from the the group. Um, because ultimately, the most successful teams are the most consistent performing teams. Um, and I think as we go into that busy period, it's important that we have a, a squad filled with players that are ready, um, that are clear on their roles and responsibilities and that are you know, able to, to make the difference as and when we need them. Talking about the squad there, we got an extra boost with a new signing in last week in Mustafa. What does he bring to the team? I think um, Mustafa, first and foremost, is a, you know, an excellent person. Um, he's been brilliant in and around the group. Um, sort of instantly brought that that level of experience um, that is able to help some of the younger players. But I think still on a personal level, he's able to add a huge amount to the team in terms of his 1v1 threat, um, in terms of his ability to, to beat players um, and take the team up the pitch. So, yeah, he's, um, he's going to add a lot to the group, both on a, a personal and a performance level. So Spurs under-21s tomorrow, what are you expecting from them? I think uh, Spurs have a you know an incredibly successful academy. Um, I think you know their 21s groups off the back of winning the PL2 uh, last season. Um, so I, I think you're going to see a group of players that will try and play in a certain way. Um, I think you're going to see a group of players that will will have full belief in the way that they play. But you know we're we're. We're very much looking forward to the game and very much looking forward to the test that they'll bring. This is the first Premier League academy that we're coming across in this competition this season. How useful is it for you as staff to play against these varied opponents that you wouldn't usually come across in the league? Yeah, yeah, really useful. I think um, it provides different types of tests, different tactical tests as it goes through. Um, but I come back to the things that we, we ultimately want from the game. We want to win the game. We want to put ourselves in a fantastic position to qualify for the next round of this competition. Um, we, we want a performance that backs up the levels from Saturday and then leads us into uh, the Wigan game this Saturday coming. Um, and we want to put ourselves in a position where the squad um, is as strong as possible moving forward to this busy period. Does your time with Aston Villa that you spent with them help you in this type of game when you're playing against different under-21 sides? Um, difficult to say. I, I think every under-21 side is is different in terms of their aims and expectations from these competitions. You know, certain clubs would view it as a, an opportunity to play their youngest, high-performing or high-potential players. Others might go with their most high-performing players. So it depends. Every every club's very different. Aston Villa would have a, a very young team 
uh, most years. I'm not sure what Tottenham's sort of average age is, but what I do know is that over the past couple of years, they've not only been successful in terms of players going out on loan and into the to the football league, but they've also been successful in terms of their under 21s team actually, you know, winning. Some supporters noted when we released the lineup against Swindon a few weeks ago the strength for the team, and I think that just shows how seriously the club are taking the competition this season. Yeah, it, it does. It also shows the the strength of the group that we've got here. Um, and like I say, if, if we're gonna, you know, achieve some of those goals that that we have for ourselves, it's so important that everyone feels a part of that and that everyone's ready. Um, and that's what these games provide us with an opportunity to do. And we don't underestimate the um, the benefit of winning games of football and those habits that that creates. Um, so we see this as the, just the next game in front of us, the next opportunity to do those things and to, to build a, a group on those successful habits. Ticket sales are also looking stronger than they were against Swindon, so it would be good to get a decent crowd in to watch the boys against Tottenham. Yeah, yeah. I think even the Norwich game the other night under the lights, there's a there's a different atmosphere, isn't there, on those midweeks, and there's almost a different level of excitement when you start to see, you know, uh, players that come in from the squad or young players coming through the academy, and they start to to show what they can do. Um, and and I think it's important that when we go into these games, you know, we've got to make this game feel like our home game. Um, we're respectful of what Tottenham are going to bring, but we're also we we trust and we back what we do, and the fans are a huge part of what we do, and we need them again tomorrow night, like every other game.